Hi guys, so for Small Pet Wednesday this week I'm going to show you what I've done to Tallulah's shed. So for those of you that don't know, my rabbits live in a big shed in the garden. Um, so three of them live in there and then Tallulah, my little white bunny, lives in here. So Tallulah's been on her own now for a little while because she used to live with me at university and then when I brought her home I started trying to introduce her to Dottie who's actually over there. Um, and that's going really well but then we've had a few setbacks the last couple of times I started actually introducing them and they had a few scuffles so it might take me a while so I decided to sort of update the shed for Tallulah since she might be in here a little bit longer than planned. So I'll show you what I've done. So firstly the doors used to just be open um, but now we have this mesh door here so that she can have these open when we're not here. Um, just so she gets more air in and things like that because unlike my other rabbits she doesn't have an Avery run Well not yet anyway. So the bit you'll be familiar with previously is this hutch So this has always been in here and it's been her main hutch So this hasn't really changed the main thing I try to do is try and keep the floor space as open as possible for her So we'll start up top with the organization So these drawers I used to have like two more drawers, but I didn't need them all um, So in the bottom here we just have her cleaning supplies and then a flamingo watering can. In here are all bits and bobs, so like nails, cutters, different like measuring tapes, things like that, just for whenever I'm sort of making adjustments. In this one, let's have a look, we'll take it out. In this one we have some pegs because she has a little thing called her washing line that I'll show you. And then these are just some hooks for when I'm trying to attach new toys and things. And then in this top one is Lula's favourite drawer because this has a few spare toys and then all of her treats in it. Okay so the only other thing we have on top of the hutch now is just her water so we fill this up daily um, and like change it because it's easier to do that than it is to fill up her water bowl so we just use that um, then try and balance her water bowl when you're carrying it over. So then up here we now have this bunting that I made just to add a little bit of colour. So then her main hutch hasn't really changed. In the top here she has a little bedroom section that she goes into sometimes on a night with some hay and some shavings and then down in the bottom she has her bunny warren what is they? Are they called Bunny Warrens? I can't remember what that green tunnel's called now. But anyway, she's got that in the corner there. And then on this side, I'll go inside. She has her litter tray in that corner, so that's where she does all of her business. And then on the outside here, I have what I call her little washing line. So it's just a um, thing of twine that I've put some wooden pegs on. And then right now she's got these, what's this called? They're the leaves of a flower. I can't remember. Anyway, they're a rabbit safe plant that we have a lot of in the garden so she's got some leaves on there that she's been having a nibble on so that's what I use her little washing line for just to hang things up for her to eat and then over here she has a hay rack so this is just a little half moon hanging basket type thing that we've got there and then her little tray underneath her hay rack so that her hay doesn't go everywhere but she tends to knock that over so it goes everywhere anyway so then she has quite a bit of floor space here there she is my little grump um, so then her door for her hutch I've kept on just in case we ever need to sort of put her in there for some reason and it might come in handy if I put Dottie in here and let her run about and keep Tallulah in the hutch. So then on here she's got this little chew stick thing, I think it's from Wilkinson's and then this um, is just one of those circular sort of screwing hook things that I showed you and it means that I can close her door if I want to but most of the time I just use that to hold the door open. Then here she has a little unicorn bed. This was actually my cat's, but my cat never went on it. I think it's from B&M. Um, so yeah, she has that, she quite likes sitting on that. And this is her little pink house. Normally she has hay in there, but I've not filled it up. Um, but so, so at the minute she just has shavings. And then on top, she has this fleece. This is actually her favorite place to sit, is up here. Um, and the fleece has got a rabbit on. So that's why I bought it, literally for the rabbit. Um, and then sticking with the pink theme, we have Tallulah's bowls. So she's going to be getting rubber matting on the floor soon. We actually have it. I'm just waiting for it to dry because it got wet in the rain. So once it's dry, that'll be coming in here. So we won't have 
these annoying watermarks all the time. Oh, you look so grumpy. Um, but anyway, so this is her food bowl. So my rabbits didn't use to have food bowls, but they do now. So this one says Tallulah, and she's eaten it all. And then that is her water bowl, which says Princess Paws, because you are a little, little diva, aren't you? Um, so this is the newest addition to the shed. She actually had this in here, but it was sort of like flat packed. So I'll insert a letter before now of what it was like before I sort of changed it all. So I decided to build this up and just give it her and take the jaw off so that she could have that little section as well just because it's nice and sort of cosy for her. So in here she has this Slytherin fleece which is from Primark. She's just having a good old clean. Aren't you? And then next to her she has her little tree that I actually made. It's actually made out of cardboard, a kitchen roll tube, some lots of twine and then some willow sticks that I've stuck in there and she actually loves that. And then in there she also has this from Pets at Home. Which I don't think she's actually noticed until the day because I put it in you. So I was kind of hoping that she jumped from her level 2 on top of here so she could have this as another level. So I screwed the spare door from the hutch on top of it so, so that I could hang toys and things like that from here. Um, but as for now, she's not quite got up there yet. Um, she might do, we'll see. She is quite a good little jumper and she does climb everywhere. So we'll see if she'll jump up on there and then up on there. If she does, I'll probably put another blanket up there just because this is a bit annoying for their feet. Can you play with your ball now? playing with your ball now. Look at that grumpy face. What are you doing? So yeah, that is pretty much everything for the shed. Um, there we go, that's Tallulah's little shed. I like how she's just demonstrating everything that I've been talking about. She's like, now we'll demonstrate how I use my washing line. So yeah, I've not crammed it full of things because I like her to have enough room to sort of bop about but she's got enough toys and things to have a chew on and have a play with because um, obviously she is a single bun. But hopefully not for much longer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload and I will see you guys soon.